Hello folks and let me show you a new invention that I've come up with. It is a homebrew USB-C high power PD or power delivery USB-C super fast phone charger. If you're on a building site you can charge your laptop in about 45 minutes to an hour from one Makita battery. Watch this. I'll just plug it in and I'm going to show you how I make them. Honestly, this is just a marvel. So, there we go, all plugged in and you can see the phone started charging. It says super fast charging, 18 minutes until full. Oh, ad admittedly, we're already at 91% here. But fact of the matter is this device doesn't just charge your phone, it can charge your USB-C laptop if you've got a USB-C laptop. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you is <laughs> these batteries by Makita, the original batteries, don't have battery management in them. There's nothing on here that shows you the charge level of the battery. And these things, uh, if you deplete them by using your power drill too much, even though the batteries run down, ultimately these batteries will die on you. So I found myself <laughs> Florions and these do indeed have battery management systems in them. So these are safe batteries to use with pretty much anything. I spent quite a bit of time designing this enclosure as you can see here and getting it squared away um, and it, you know what it really is quite a lush piece of kit it'll take a large phone like this one here and it will charge it all the way up um, in well probably about 45 minutes or something along those lines a company recently sent me this and this is a little USB-C type cable. I like to think of it as the Swiss army knife of USB-C cables. Um, and basically you've got USB-C here, uh, USB-A on that end, micro USB on that end, and then another USB-C. So ultimately you've got USB-C to USB-C. So again, I can plug this in here, and then I can plug this end into my phone. Boom, there we go we've got super fast charging. <laughs> How cool is that? That is really quite a cute little cable. More about this. Let's charge a laptop with it. This here is an Asus ZenBook. Again, the key thing here is the fact that we've got a USB port on the side of it here. So we can plug in uh, to that USB port and then we have our USB port, USB-C port here, which we can connect up. And actually, if you look inside here, you'll notice that there's a blue light on, which shows you that the power's on. And then there's like a sort of a purpley ready light on in here, which shows you that the unit has switched to super fast charging. So if I unplug this, there we go, we go back to blue. Actually, it's called USB-C PD. So it's power delivery. So ultimately, on large pieces of equipment like a laptop here, there's a handshake that happens between the electronics inside this device and also this device. And this device says, I can receive 20 volts at 3 amps, 4 amps. And this device says, OK, I can actually dispatch 20 volts at 3 or 4 amps. And it goes ahead. Um, I've been on a Skype call with friends some evenings and my laptop has basically stopped working uh, because it's run out of battery. If you're on a building site, you can charge your laptop in about 45 minutes to an hour from one Makita battery <laughs> using this system. That is cool as. Let me show you how I make these. I make other versions of this, which are standard USB-A 5 volt devices that dump out sort of two or three amps at five volts but this one is really quite dear and quite special to me if this is something that you're interested in i'll pop a link to my ebay shop in the bottom and you can have a look at that um or otherwise you can get in touch with me if you're located in the uk and we can probably do some kind of a special deal for you anyway all that said let me go ahead and show you how i make these all right let's get into the build process then so we've got a 3d printed enclosure and the first thing we need to do is install cables and connectors. And the connectors are ultimately crimp terminals. And basically we just crimp those onto some thick cables. The next thing I'm doing here is removing the plastic support structure from the enclosure. And that's easily done with a screwdriver. 
and we carefully thread those thick cables through the enclosure. So the crimp terminals and the holes inside of the connector that house the wires are all designed to be invisible so you don't get to see them. As you can well imagine, it took me quite a while to come up with the design for this plastic enclosure and uh, the assembly process. But once the cables are installed, we need to strip the other ends of the cables. And then what we need to do is start looking at soldering those cables onto the PCB itself. And the PCB is a super fast charging power delivery USB QC 4.0 PCB. It really is quite a feat of engineering. I'm very impressed with these PCBs. They work an absolute treat. And there's a little bit of jiggery pokery here to get the PCB in place. Uh, and it fits beautifully inside the enclosure. And once that's in place, then we need to mix up some epoxy resin. Your friend, my friend, everybody's friend, epoxy resin, useful for so many things. So then it's a case really of just sort of liberally applying epoxy resin in various places, putting those uh, little cover caps in place. Also, uh, we glue the PCB in place to make sure that it doesn't move around when it's in use. And then what we do is we put a very thin layer of glue around the inside of the enclosure so that we can stuff the lid on the top of the enclosure. And hey, presto, boom, there we have it. One completed USB-C power delivery adapter that will charge all sorts of stuff. As always, folks, thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a good old thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed. Said so if this is something that you're interested in, then please pop us a note. Um, they currently sell on eBay for about £25, which some of you may consider a little bit expensive, but considering the technology and the time and effort that's been put into these and the fact that they're actually made here in the UK, I think that's quite cool. All right, folks, take care. Have a wonderful week and weekend and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers and beers, everybody. Bye for now.